Lag and stuttering frames are often caused by unnecessary background services, which strain your CPU and GPU. In this video, I'll show you how to disable inessential services for better PC performance. Afterward, your system will run much smoother. Please subscribe and share your feedback in the comments, it helps a lot. Now, let's get into it. To begin, I want to show you how much strain your CPU is under. Start by being on your desktop, right-clicking at the bottom, and selecting Task Manager. Once you're there, navigate to the Performance tab and click on CPU. This will display your CPU's status. We're really looking for are the number of processors. The higher the number, the worse your PC performance will be. The ideal range is between 90 and 110 processors, and that's where we'll aim to get you in this video. Next, to disable unnecessary services running in the background that contribute to high processes, follow these steps. First, head to the Services section, where you'll see a list of all the services on your PC. Once you're on the Services page, the first one we'll tackle is the Assigned Access Manager service. It's usually labeled as Running for most users. Right-click on it and select Properties. A quick note, if the service status is Running, you should stop it first. Click Stop, and after a moment set the startup type to Disabled, then click Apply and OK. If it's already set to manual, you can skip stopping and starting the service. Just go ahead and disable it directly. Next, find the BitLocker Drive Encryption service. Click on it, select Properties, disable it, apply the changes, and click OK. Now, listen carefully. Bluetooth support services are next. If you're not using Bluetooth on your PC, disable it by selecting Properties, setting it to manual, and then disabling it. However, if you are using Bluetooth, don't disable it. The next service is the Connected User Experiences and Telemetry. This one can be safely disabled for most users. Again, click Apply and OK after disabling it. Next, locate the Diagnostic Execution Service. It might take a moment to find, but once you do, make sure to disable it. You'll also want to disable the Diagnostic Policy, Diagnostic Service, and Diagnostic System Host services as well. Now, find the Geolocation service. This service tracks your location for Microsoft, so go ahead and disable it by clicking Properties, applying the change, and clicking OK. Next, we'll look for the Net Logon service. Once found, click on it, disable it, apply the changes, and click OK. For those of you using parental control on your PC, leave this one as is. However, if you're like most viewers here just trying to optimize your gaming performance, go ahead and disable it. The print spooler service is next. I don't use a printer, so I'll disable it. But if you're using a printer, leave this one enabled. Next, find the fax service. Since faxing is outdated and not used by most people anymore, feel free to disable it by clicking properties and disabling it. Then, look for the Remote Desktop Configuration service. Disable it just like the others by clicking Properties and applying the changes. Now, let's move on to the Windows Biometric service. Most of you should have this one disabled by default, but if it's running, go ahead and disable it. Next, the Windows Error Reporting service is another one you can disable to improve performance. Simply disable it by selecting Properties, applying the changes, and clicking OK. Now, disable the Work Folders service as well. And of course, disable all Xbox services, unless you're actively using Xbox for recording clips or chatting with friends. But for most of you, it's best to disable these services. Next, the Windows Mobile Hotspot service should be disabled unless you're using your PC as a hotspot. If you're not, go ahead and disable it. Finally, locate the Sys main service, go to Properties, and disable it as well. So guys, now you need to download this Windows Performance Pack from my website. Link is in description after download. Open this registry optimization folder and install one by one these registries on your PC. These registries will make sure that your system prioritize your game. After that, go back and install Unpark CPU application. After installation, you might need to right click on the application and select Run as Administrator. This step is necessary to grant the app full access to your system's resources. Once the application is launched, it will display the current status of your CPU cores, indicating whether they are parked or active. Parked cores are essentially inactive and not fully utilized, 
which can significantly impact system performance, particularly during gaming or other resource-intensive tasks. To optimize performance, click on the Unpark button within the application. This action will unpark the cores, ensuring that all CPU cores are actively utilized, ultimately boosting your system's overall performance. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your Ping C. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now, go to the Not tab, where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. To further reduce processor load, go to Task Manager and open the Startup tab. Disable apps like Riot Client, Microsoft Edge, and Epic Games Launcher that launch automatically on Startup. These apps can push your processor load to 200 Moet 230, which is too high. After making these changes, restart your PC and share in the comments how much you've reduced your processor load. One useful adjustment is to search for background apps in your system settings. By default, many apps continue to run in the background, consuming valuable resources. This can cause issues, especially when you're gaming. So it's best to turn this setting off for a smoother experience. While you're in the settings, search for game mode. While game mode is designed to optimize your PC for gaming, it may not be beneficial on lower end systems. In such cases, it's better to disable it. Additionally, consider turning off the game bar as it can add input delay. Instead, use GeForce Experience for recording gameplay as it offers much less lag. After making these changes, be sure to restart your PC to apply them properly. So guys, that was today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment on how these tweaks impacted your processor load.